Austin innovators, faculty, and staff. It starts with us this Tuesday morning, October 31st, 2017. This is Addison Sumrall and Nadia Godwin. We are here with the Morning, morning Buzz. Buzz. Please pause this morning for announcements. Let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the, remain standing for the mission statement. The mission of Mary B. Austin is to engage all students through relevant individualized instructions that empower students to take ownership of their learning and gain the skills necessary to think creatively, critically, and independently with a safe and encouraging learning environment. Now let's pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. No one celebrates a birthday today. That's, this is what's baking in the bistro today. Hot wings, turnip or collard greens, potato salad, celery stick, cornbread, fruit, and juice. Now let's go to Franklin, our meteorologist for the weather. Today will be sunny with a high 75 and a 0% chance of rain. Tonight will be clear with a low 59 and a 10% chance of rain. Wednesday will be um, cloudy with a high 77 and a 10% chance of rain. Back to you, Addison and Nadia. Thanks. Thanks, Franklin. The character word of the month is trustworthiness. Let's all be sure to show off trustworthy behavior. Today we are going to be seeing new words and learning new impressive vocabulary words. We have a parade of words to share with you now. Let's see some of the fantastic new vocabulary words on display. Hi, Erg. I'm a swashbuckler. That's someone who's a braggadocious ruffian. And I'm bringing to you some new incredible words on this fabulous vocabulary day. And what word are you, matey? Mismatched. What does mismatched mean? It means it doesn't go with one thing. Well, let's turn you around and look at what you got on here. Turn around here, Henry. Boy, you've got stripes and plaid and shorts and mismatched socks, two hats. You look very sloppy and mismatched. Excellent job. Go back to class. Next. Who are you? Porridge. Your porridge? What is porridge? Delicious. It's delicious food. It looks kind of like oatmeal. Take a look at this porridge, everyone. Thank you, porridge. Go back to class. And who are you, darling? Alden. And Alden, what word are you dressed like? Mythical. What does mythical mean? Imaginary. Oh, and like, that's why you're a unicorn, right? Can you do a turn for us? You even fly. All right, well, fly back to class, you mythical creature, you. <laughs> Come on in close here. And what are you, and who are you, and what are you dressed as? Reuben. And what are you dressed as, Reuben? Dashing. Ooh, dashing. What does that mean? It means um, adventurous, um, proud, and... Probably handsome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you do look very dashing indeed, sir. You may dash on back to class. All right, little Mary Mustin, what are you dressed as? Equestrian. 
And what does equestrian mean? A horse trainer or a cowgirl. A horse trainer or a cowgirl. Well, yeehaw, you're dressed perfectly. An equestrian. You may go back to class. And who are you? Cecilia. And what are you dressed as? Historical. And what does historical mean? History. Okay, so learning about things that have happened in the past, like Cleopatra in Egypt years ago. Very cool. Do a turn before you go back to class. Thank you, darling. Lucy, what are you dressed as? Monochromatic. What does that big fancy word mean? One color. Just one color, which is why you see her all wearing the same shade of pink. She is a monochromatic. That is an awesome word. Thank you, darling. You may go back to class. Ooh, fancy. Who are you? Leah Jane. And what are you dressed as? Um, radiant. And what does radiant mean? Sparkly. And just gorgeous to me. Oh, you are radiant. Look at this girl. Shimmer and glimmer and shine. Do a, do a turn for us before you go back to class. Oh, thank you, darling. You are radiant. All right, little Rosie, what are you dressed as? I'm erratic. And what does that mean? And that means everything's different. Oh, so look at your shirt and your pants. Everything is different. It's very erratic, which means not even or regular in pattern. Very unpredictable. I hope your behavior is not erratic today. <laughs> All right, you may go back to class. And who are you? Anna Grace. Anna Grace, what are you dressed as? Autumn. Autumn. What does autumn mean? Fall. It's that fancy word for fall. And as you can see, she is dressed in lovely shades of fall leaves. Do a spin for us, please. Wonderful. Now, act like a leaf and blow on down the hallway to your classroom. All right. Ooh, I can't see who's coming here. Okay, coming in close. Who are you? Sydney. Sydney, what are you dressed as? Stealth. Can you define stealth for us, please? Means cautious movement. And can you use it in a sentence? Mm hmm. I see on your sign you have this example the stealth of a ninja. So a ninja would have to to move cautiously with great stealth. Am I right? All right, act like a ninja and sneak back to class. Go ahead. That way. Did you want to say something else? All right, you stealthy thing. Go see Miss Delaney. All right. Who do we have here? Fincher. Fincher, what are you dressed as? A patriot. Ooh, you are looking very patriotic, and you're red, white, and blue. Can you do a spin for us? Do you want to say, do you want to sing a patriotic song or anything? Mm. <laughs> All right, you may go back to class. Okay, come on in. What are you dressed as? A uh, um feline? Mm -mm. It's a, uh. You look like a feline cat to me. Can you do a spin for me? Awesome. Now prowl back to class. All right, come on in close. What do we have here? Um, a basketball player. And a basketball player needs to be? Agile. And what does agile mean? Prepared to play sports. Okay, very good. All right, we'll use your agile talent and get back to class quickly. Okay, and who do we have here? Chloe. Chloe, what are you dressed as? A unicorn. And so what's your vocabulary word that you're teaching us today? Mystical. And mystical means? Outworldly. Oh, otherworldly. Very cool. You look wonderful. Do a spin for us. All right. Thank you. And who do we have here? I'm a lemur. <laughs> the Come only place I've found. A lemur from Madagascar, the only place he's found. Okay. And what's your word? It's diurnal. Diurnal. It means only active in day. Only active during the day. Very cool. All right. Do a spin for us. Okay, very cool. All right, and then come over here. Well, you look awesome, but I can't ask you any questions because you wouldn't answer me anyway because you are speechless. 
That is awesome. She's a mime. And we had one other person pop in, someone who is very ubiquitous. It's Miss Pope. She seems to be everywhere today. Now, back to you, Nadia and Addison. Those words were great. They sure, they sure did. Students, you should be, a, be able to define and explain your word and even use it in a sentence. We hope to see you use these new words in your writing as well. Maybe you'll even spot your word or your friend's words now in the books you're, that you're reading. That would be cool. Students and teachers, our fifth grade students are ask, asking you to bring in cans, boxes, and, and bags of food for our second, second Can Do Good Food Drive. It began yesterday. Our goal is to bring 1,000 cans. Yesterday, we brought in 20. We have 980 cans to go. We will have a put a cap on hunger day on November 9th. On that day, all who brought in cans will get to wear a cap to school for the day. We have a Be Your Best Sophie for Miss Young. She was impressed with Mary Miston, who donated several inches of her hair to a charity that makes wigs for people who have lost hair due to illness. The, that was very compassionate and generous of you, Mary. Way to shine. Let's review our second quarter theme. If you can dream it, you can do it. Now let's recite the Roots motto. Respect, Respect ourselves and others. Own, own our learning. Own our actions. actions treasure our talents, talents. Serve our community. community. These are our roots to success. This has been the Morning Buzz. Have a fab vocab Tuesday and a happy Halloween.